What's up, YouTube? It's been a minute, but we're back now. Um, it's been a minute because I didn't really have anything that I felt worthy of vlogging or documenting. But now, this is year 30. I'm about to be 30 in seven days. Seven days, I'm hitting 3-0, which is wild to think about. But um, over this, these past like two, three weeks, two weeks technically, um, we have found a reason to pick up the camera again, and that is going to be to document a marathon prep. <laughs> Any of y'all that know me that are watching this, even for those of you who don't, that just picked this up, your boy is not a runner. Like, I played football, um, I played basketball, I ran track um, as a sprinter. Like, if you know me, my claim to fame is speed, that's really it. I, I can jump high and I can run fast. Distance was never my thing. I have crazy asthma. and. Usually that just doesn't doesn't bode well for being an endurance athlete whatsoever. Um, but this is a journey into being, I guess, what is the trendy term, hybrid athlete, right? I'm just an athlete, bro, to be honest. <laughs> uh, always have been, and my goal is to always be um, an athlete. I'm going to take y'all on this journey with me and my wife. Um, you're going to see the marathon prep, you're going to see workouts, and you're going to see diet and nutrition because we're trying to dial that in as well, as well as some other endeavors that we decide to partake in, um, whether that be business and real estate and things like that. This is just going to be a channel of leveling up in year 30 and beyond. All right, so stay tuned. Right, Stay tuned, I said. Good morning, y'all. It's Tuesday, and it is day day fourteen of marathon prep. Um, which means we have a nice, easy four mile run. Sorry for the lighting change, but so I'm gonna pop these headphones in. And I'm going to not take this camera with me because what I look like. Um, and I'll be back in like maybe like 30 minutes. It's only it won't take that long to be honest. Um, maybe like 35, closer to 40 minutes. It's a nice easy run. Um, so I'm gonna pop these headphones in. Probably put on some Wayne and just you know. Just cruise through this run. So this is technically this is technically day two. Day two in the distance part of the program. So um, yeah, I just stay tuned for this crazy ass journey because we're back. We're six four, six four, six four, a long run, whatever it is, this month. But then it starts to get a little bit crazy with speed workouts and hills and things like that. You know, speed is my it's my thing, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If I haven't turned into a runner or an endurance athlete at this point in time yet, uh, I'm gonna throw this camera down, and I am gonna knock this run out quickly because I need to eat, I need to work out, I need to shower, and then I gotta go to work. So I'm gonna catch y'all in a second. How are you? Just had that four mile run. I'm not gonna lie to you. Slightly, slightly underestimated it, or overestimated it, however you want to look at it. But that was tough. 37, 52. Average pace was 927. Mm -hmm. Heart rate was 156. So, all in all, not terrible. Um, I just was feeling lightheaded, which comes from probably two different things. I didn't eat enough yesterday, and I slept like shit. Like, I didn't go to bed till like 12.30, maybe 12.45. I 
and was up at five to run initially. But as I'm leaving the room, my daughter wakes up and she's at that stage where like she has to have somebody with her. That's what makes her feel comfortable. So the run had to wait a little while till she fell back asleep. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to run with my wife this morning, but she got up and did what she was supposed to do at five and she went to work. So usually it's like the, the same, the same set of circumstances. One of us has to go to work. We both get up and run early, whatever it is. I, like I said, more of the story. That shit was tough, but we got it done. So the rest of the day should be a breeze. Um, we, have, we have to work later, but I need to eat actual food, shower, um, and get a workout in as well. Well, eat, workout, shower, hopefully is gonna be the plan. Um, but right now, I'm gonna go cook some breakfast for the kids, because my daughters are up right now. Um, breakfast for myself, and see what, what a workout looks like. Probably back, back in buys, I think. And then I have legs tomorrow on a rest day. So, stay tuned, y'all, stay tuned. Ah, uh, yeah, so, uh, you probably can't see me because it's so fucking bright out here, but walking into Publix just to get water, Celsius, maybe something sweet for this shit, probably like some type of chocolate or some sort, but we'll see. Never tried to record in Publix before, so we're gonna see if we get yelled at or not. Alright, let's see if we can find it. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? So, if y'all don't have Publix where you at, I'm sorry. But, I, I am and I'm not. Because y'all probably save a lot of money. But they be taxing inside this mug. But, at the same time, it's worth it. They're everywhere. It's clean in here. Shit's always stopped. You know, so, ooh. I think we're on to it. I think we're on to it. Water. Here we are. Water. All right, what water should we get? Should we go? Spring water? <laughs> of course. No. I'm going here. Pure life because, in my opinion, in my opinion, this is the best water that there is, for sure. Alright, Celsius. Are we skating? Are we skating? Oh. Where's the Arctic vibe? Oh, I can do a cosmic vibe. Cosmic. Cosmic vibe. What have we got? We're gonna do something sweet as well. Something sweet as well. But we're gonna drink this before the end of the day. All right, so keep that in mind. We're gonna drink this before the day is done. How you doing? Ah, uh, something sweet. Chocolate of some sort. Let's go. Yes, sir. What's up? What's going on, bro? What's up, thing? My my page my, uh, is Tevin Connors. So my YouTube is Tevin Connors. TikTok, Tevin Connors. Tevin Connors? Yes, sir. IG, YouTube, TikTok, everything. Yes, sir. I'm a personal trainer, so it's a lot of fitness content, and things like oh, that. Man. So, uh, C O N N E R S. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I appreciate the follow, bro. For real. Thank you. I appreciate you. Y'all have a good day. See you later, bro. All right, so, even just like that, bro, you know what I'm saying? That's a sub, that's a follower right there, just because he see that I was doing content. Sometimes it's, all it takes is just picking up the camera and uh, turning it on, pressing record. A lot of everybody gonna look at you crazy, but at the end of the day, it's your content, you know? If you got a plan for what you're trying to do with it, Nobody else matter. The only people that matter are the supporters and the haters. The haters can matter too, as long as they 
as long as they are uh, watching the content, right? Because a view is a view no matter where it comes from. Okay. But that was that. We just ran to Publix really quick. All I needed was water, a nice ice cold Celsius, and I got some type of chocolate. Um, I got a crazy sweet tooth. I've been doing very, very well on this whole prep and we're just slowly, I wouldn't say slowly, but we're pretty much cutting out everything to the point where like it won't even, it won't ever really be a thing anymore. I can't get this shit to regulate its exposure, but um, it won't really be a thing anymore even when I'm not in any type of like um, prep for anything. So. It's mental games, right? It's discipline. Um, but at the same time, it's like treating, don't forget to treat yourself. Like you gotta have the good and you know, you need to be rewarded. If you want something, hopefully it's something small and not anything crazy that's gonna throw you off of like your macros, your diet, your plan, whatever it is. Too much and can be worked off, right? So like if I know I'm gonna have this, I know I gotta, we gotta put a little bit more in, but nine out of ten times, if you're working out intensely, if you're you know moving your body intensely enough, you can fit something here and there, right? A bag of chips if you want it, um, some a chocolate bar if you want it. You know what I mean? Um, especially if you're not preparing for a competition or anything like that. It only it only should be like one off, something small here and there, like and then you right back on it. If you don't have the discipline to get right back on it, like after you do that, like if you still don't get, if you don't get your meals in because of it or your, you know, whatever, don't do it. Like that's just a, that's just a self-discipline thing that you're not ready for yet. And that's fine. Everybody goes through it. Everybody's there. Everybody starts somewhere. So just stay on track, hit your goals and then reward yourself, right? One of my goals is making sure I get my ass up and run every day. So. I'm gonna reward myself for that. I might have a Diet Coke here and there, or regular Coke sometimes, you know? Or I'll have this chocolate bar. It's all it's all in moderation, and it's all for, um, because I've been busting my ass every day. So, it's what, in my opinion, I earned it. But, we just pulled up at work. We're definitely gonna drink this water. Like, that water is going to be gone. No cat. Um, and we're gonna coach these classes. We're gonna have some fun and we're gonna get some shit done, right? We're gonna have some content created. I'm about to put a reel out. Um, a little come with me and get get some running shoes real that I forgot I had. So I'm gonna put that out. So I didn't really film anything today or yesterday. So be on the lookout for that as well. But I'm gonna get with y'all in just a second, all right? All right, y'all. Good morning. It is now the next day. And when it comes to running, today's rest day. So, we're gonna take that, we're gonna fuel up correctly um, for, we have six miles tomorrow. But now, I'm really just, well, it's, it is, I don't know if you can see that, 4.20 in the morning right now. And, we are headed to work in just a minute. So, just grabbing, getting my food together for the day. I keep opening this damn fridge like something's gonna pop out at me, but it's not. Um, I truly don't even know what I'm about to, to get together because I have this little bit of lean turkey right here. So this is like 90. 99.1 ground turkey. Get some rice. Probably gonna get more rice than ground turkey, but. All right, so. Not sure how much ground turkey that is. I don't really care, to be honest. Uh, but, that is that. Um, I think we're gonna train legs today, so. Might take y'all through a little bit of that. I'm not a hundred percent sure, just because 
Training legs is not my favorite thing to do anyway. So I gotta lock DF in when I'm doing it. And it might not be uh, in the cards to bring the camera with me. Not bring it with me because I'm doing it in the garage, but yeah. I'm gonna throw some of this on here. Is it sugar free? Nah, but I don't care. I need the calories. So. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I got going on today. Not really. I'm about to go coach these classes. But if you guys don't have these type of uh, containers, you're missing out. Make food prep so much easier, even though you just watched me not. Well, it was kind of prep, but regardless. So I'm taking a banana. I already have yogurt at the studio. What else we got? We are going to a few pieces of this in right now. So, I'm gonna take some rice cakes. These are just caramel Quaker rice cakes. Um, these ones I eat just plain. The chocolate, I usually throw some vanilla Greek yogurt on there. Gas, bro. Absolute gas. Which, now that I think about it, I do have some Greek yogurt at the studio. So, but yeah, Greek yogurt, so I might take these instead. Yeah, it's a better idea. When it comes to like vitamins and stuff, I'm not taking anything right now. But I will. Be back on that in a second, but I literally gotta leave this house in two minutes. So, I'm about to brush my teeth. Or what else? Get my, my water, hop in the car, get over there. I'm gonna check back in with y'all in just a little bit. All right, what's up, family? We are back, and we're in the car again because we're headed home from work. Just finished a day of coaching. Pretty tired, honestly. Like getting up at four and then coaching group group classes. It's pretty draining when it comes to like socially. So like my my bar for like you know for that type of stuff is pretty pretty low um, so we're gonna try to find a little bit of energy because we have legs on the menu today so we have to try to hit legs in at least some type of capacity right like do I think it's gonna be a freaking amazing leg day no probably not I also have to run six miles in the morning so that's going to play a little bit of a role in the level of intensity that we hit legs with. But it's still going to get done. I'm just not sure exactly when. Um, hopefully my son stays asleep for a little while and I can rest while he's resting as well as my daughter. Um, and then it's just me and those two while my oldest daughter goes to cheer tonight. So if anything, I'll train while I'm home with them later on tonight but we'll see I'm not 100% sure it's uh it's a toss-up I ideally I would like to do it right now train right now but then I'm I'm risking having no rest and then just being freaking a shell of myself when it comes to later on in the day but it's not like it hasn't been done before just I'd rather not you know if, all, if it all happens that way, it is what it is. More of the story is I got, I have a workout that I have to do. I'm going to do it. Um, don't know the level of intensity that it's going to be at, but it's going to get done. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna have fun doing it, right? Prepare myself, eat some food, uh, get hydrated for a six mile run tomorrow, and yeah, we are back on back on program. Today was a rest day from running is ironic because it's national run day or some shit like that part of me wants to like at least run a little bit just because just to say that i ran on national run day but hey you know and you get the little achievement on your watch for completing a run on national run day but i'm gonna check back with y'all in just a just a little bit here see what see what's going on at home i'm about to pull in there in just a second and then uh who knows you might see me in legs, you might see me taking a nap. You might see me 
eating food. I don't know what it's gonna be. Um, but y'all will see me, don't worry. Alright? Stay tuned. Alright, y'all. Get ready to hit a little bit of legs. It's not gonna be anything crazy because <clears throat> it is 6.40 and I have to um, be up at 5 a.m. to run six miles. So, it's gonna be a very light leg day. Just getting some, giving a nice solid pump and then go on about our business, eat some food, and relax. Um, so what I'm taking right now is I have a few different things that I like to throw in. Um, it's like an intro workout slash pre-workout. So I'll just kind of sip on this throughout the uh, the entirety of my workout. But it is right here, Podium Creatine Monohydrate. Um, if you've never tried their SUPS, definitely give it a try. I also use their hydration or electrolytes, so BCAAs. Uh, super important marathon prep, that's for sure. Um, drinking this multiple times a day, probably. Uh, blue raspberry flavor, no creatine's unflavored. And then we have Christopher's Juicy Pump. Uh, this is raw nutrition of discount code TCFIT. Um, save yourself some money if you want any of these products. But this is just a pump sub, so just for example, there's just um, citrulline. Betanine, beta alanine, taurine, Himalayan pink salt. So we're getting not very many carbs, but a lot of sodium in this, which is good because um, we need sodium to help us keep the water on and around our joints and hydrated, especially on oof, the long workouts and long runs and things like that. So we're about to go hit this workout. It's not gonna be the most enjoyable, but I was able to get a nap in, so that helps a lot. But other than that, let's see what we can do. All right, get out of there. Shake this up. Also, I'm gonna have two of these. So, a little mini rice crispy treats. Get some quick carbs in, and then get started. So, stay tuned.
All right, y'all. So just finished a decent leg day. I say decent because it was more focused on like range of motion. Really just trying to achieve some type of blood throw, blood, trying to achieve some type of blood flow to the muscle, um, getting the joints, you know, moving. I do have a six mile run tomorrow at 5 a.m. So we have to be very careful um, when we're doing marathon prep and training legs. Um, I try to space it out the best I can, but at the same time, we still gotta do it. We still gotta make sure that our legs are getting stronger. That way we can run longer, um, run faster. Stay balanced when it comes to our physique as well, because not only am I trying to train to be an endurance athlete, I still wanna be a strength athlete. I still want to be extremely explosive, things like that. So this is a hybrid journey. This is not just an endurance journey. This is just something I wanna, we, were, we decided that we're gonna challenge ourselves with. My wife and I, to just challenge how far we can push ourselves athletically, mentally, things like that. So this is just part of the journey when it comes to the hybrid athlete, you know, saga. Um, 26 miles by December is going to be tough, but it's definitely doable. Um, we have a great coach teaching us how we're supposed to prep for this type of thing. Um, tapering, speed, elevation, um, tempo, that type of stuff. So we're learning as we go, but at the same time, I'm still training like I'm a bodybuilder, like I'm an athlete. Um, just legs have to take a slight step back when it comes to really progressing with load, like adding more weight, and really just focusing on doing what feels good through the range of motion and things like that. So tomorrow will be day 15 of actually running. We have six miles. Um, bright and early so I'll be back with y'all checking in with you in the morning this is probably gonna be the end of this video so episode one if you guys would do me a favor subscribe to the channel just to follow my marathon prep there are gonna be tons of videos that are gonna drop a lot of vlogs I want to stay as consistent as possible and I'm not gonna lie once I when I see engagement that makes me want to do more um, it's just it's easy it's like reciprocating like I'm helping somebody out and all I want to do is inspire you guys to maybe um, embark on your own mental journey of challenging your mind and pushing yourself to like much further lengths than you thought ever were imaginable. So drop in the comments if you ever ran a marathon, if you've thought about it. Um, I'm open to tips and tricks that will be very helpful for myself, my wife, on how you finish. Um, and if you're thinking about doing something tough drop it in the comments let me know what it is if i can help you guys in any way whether that be nutrition whether that be training programs personal training uh marathon prep bodybuilding whatever it is i got you just drop it in the comments let me know what you want to see what what you want to hear about and i'll be happy to touch on those topics like i said like comment share subscribe please subscribe and follow along for this crazy ass marathon journey. I'll catch y'all tomorrow bright and early.